It's me, Mikey Pipes. Hope all is well. Today is Monday morning, Monday, August 2nd, 2021. Welcome to another great episode of Mikey Pipes. It's me. I got some great news. Well, maybe great, maybe not. Depends on who you ask. That I'm going to share later on in this video. Some of you are going to give me an attaboy. Some of you are going to be like, man, you're going to turn into a miserable, miserable mother effer. And some of you are not even going to care. But it's all good because I love you and you love me and we're one big, we're one big happy family. Thumbs up, subscribe, and thoughts, feedback, criticism down in the comment section down below. Be well, God bless. Let's go. Good morning. It's me, Mikey Pipes and Danielson. Happy Monday. Ah, Monday. We're in Atlantic Beach, heading over to our first service call. Central Air Conditioning Outdoor Condensing Unit makes a noise when it turns off. Let's see what this could be. Stay tuned, thumbs up, subscribe. It's a nice touch. Grab the paper, you know? Before you say hi, grab the paper for them. It shows you care. Good morning. Good. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. What's going on this morning? So, I'm in my office here, and I hear the, I hear the air conditioning going on and off. So when it goes on, and then when it goes off, it goes boom. Like this is a boom, you know, and and so that worries me. Okay. How long has that been going on for? Um, it was. I well, I called you last week. That's when I heard you. Okay. When I heard it. So from last week. Do so we know which floor it's, it's coming from? I'm not sure. I have a feel. I'm not sure. Do you have a feeling? Say. I don't know. I so it's the it's that the first air conditioning. It's probably so. I have a feeling. And I just blow at the air because you know I was down here. <laughs> uh, go on next to the garage. Mm -hmm. You're gonna see a Fujitsu. You're gonna see two train units. See which one uh, makes. See if the first one's on. And I can look through. We can talk yeah. through the window. Oh, yeah. there. So I also, so I had a lot of company this week. Okay. It's like, this house is like a brand house. Like a hotel. Yeah, it's like an Airbnb. Um, so I noticed that they had the air conditioning on at 66. I turned uh -huh. it on because it must have been not cold enough for them. Yeah, sometimes. Is that so 66 is normal? Well, it depends. I mean, on this, it's. It's, it's, co it's cold in here. Now, it, yeah, it's cold on yeah. 66. It's cold in here. Yeah. I feel it. Yeah. Oh, wrong way. Let's see what he says. Which ones are you <clears throat> Either or. That's that one. This one? Yeah. Okay. It's running, right? Yeah, this one. Alright, right. so I'm going to turn that one off. Is that the noise? I think so. It might be. It's frozen. It's frozen? It's frozen? Yeah. It just thought out as soon as you break it off. Oh, it's freezing up. Yeah. But, I, yeah. I just lowered it to like 70. It was on 70. But did it make a noise? It did, yeah. Is the other one on? It's not, no. The other one's not on? No, let's turn the other one on. Let's make sure. Is it on the right thing? Like, I didn't touch it. I always thought that it should always be on auto. No, no, the, uh, the, the temperature. It is on fan auto. Let's wait for that to turn on. The other one turned on? Yeah, turned on. Any abnormal noises? No. Okay. Back to. Anything abnormal? It just went off. So no, nothing abnormal. No. All right, first floor again. What's wrong with the air conditioning in your room? 
turns on. It's like blasting. It's like free. It just turns off like two minutes ago. Like it's freezing and it's loud, but it's only in our two rooms. Has that always been the case? Yes. Yes. Yeah. And not in my room. My and, and not in, my in these room. two rooms. Just mine and my. In my room, I wish it had more. Yeah. And it's like so cold. It's like there's, there's a solution. There's a solution. Is it? Did it come on? Yeah, it sounded like the compressor had a hard time. Yep, all right. Yep, I heard that bang. I heard the bang. Let's go see what's going on. You ain't testing, you're guessing. I've been here a couple times. I was not the one who did this, by the way. And I think maybe today we'll take care of this. This is really sloppy. All right, the wiring for the condenser fan motor is very sloppy. I'm contemplating putting in some PVC, but you know, like this one had it at one point. All right, let's take a look inside. I'm gonna take off this panel, take off this panel. I'll let you run point on this. I'll just sit back and watch. What do you think the noise is coming from? Noise is coming from the compressor. What do you think we could do to try to uh, make that quiet it down? Check the yeah, we can check that. All right, exactly. All right, so let's get at it. Let's kill power. All right, looky, looky, looky. You know the Mikey Pipes has been here when you see Wagos. Yeah. All right. So, first things first, let's check, you said you want to check capacitors, find out what the capacitor is for this blower motor, I mean for the condenser fan motor. All right, we're going to do something a little different. I would like to test that capacitor dynamically. Get out, get out. I keep too much stuff in my Vito. That is for the compressor, correct. And the other one is for? The fan. Excellent. All right, we are going to use an app from HVACR school, right? And let's see where that app is. There it is. We're gonna use uh, tools under low capacitor tests. All right, this is gonna tell us what we need. Put that right there. Big shout out to HVAC School, Vortex, Bitex. I love this app, by the way. Now, is our contact pulled in? No. no. So go to the thermostat, which is right down right at the, uh, at the foot of the stairs, and lower that to like 68. And when he does that, I'm just going to do a quick little amp thing. Let's see what my amperage is. When he plugs that in, let's get you in there. Uh, sound pretty bad actually. All right. So, voltage across capacitor. <laughs> what are you set on? Oh, All right. So, voltage across capacitor. Test. Be very careful because you're you may touch that metal. So, what do you got? One? Nope, one, that's one. the wrong answer. There needs to be a little bit more information there. See, voltage across capacitor is not really what we're looking for. Referring back to the text message from Studsman, right? You need to take a voltage reading. Let's see where it is. For the procedure, you know, take a voltage reading across the capacitor from common to herm and then write it down. Huh, common to herm. You did do common to herm, but 
we're using a single capacitor there. So, I think we have to do it a little differently. Let's try from at there to there. The opposite side it's pulling from. There. No, not that one. The one other one, yeah. Stick it right in the screw. I'm not gonna bite. Go ahead. What do we got? Still nothing. Oh, hold on. Now test those two. Three forty-two. So let's go to the app. Three forty-two. All right. Amperage of motor start winding. So now we're there. Amperage ten point one. Calculate. Why isn't this working? Capacitor rated. Put in 80. Is that what it is? Yeah. All right, so I calculated it at 78.35 and it's rated for 80, so the test fa the test passed for the capacitor. The only thing that you didn't you failed to do the correct uh, well correctly the, right away was being observant of your surroundings. All right, because they were not plugged in fully. You failed the test, Daniel Sun. Pay closer attention next time. So while we're at it, let's test the fan, uh, the fan motor capacitor. All right, let's quit out of that. How about I give you these clips instead? There are alligator clips in there. Throw those on there so we don't short out anything. Okay, now let's test. Three hundred and fifty six, three hundred fifty five point nine, three fifty. 5.9 what's the amperage of the one leaving Point 0.9 and what's the rated capacitor rating I 7.5 All right, the capacitor is more than 10%. It's at 6.71, so that needs a new capacitor. All right, let's head over to the truck. Do, 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 do. That's a multi one. 7.5? It is. Okay. Do you have everything you need? You're going to have what you need to secure that to where it needs to go? All right. Do so you have what you need there? Yeah. You think that's going to fit? Yeah. Okay. Close the door. Don't anyone stealing our tools. Right, right there. All right, let's go see if that fits. Faster to kill it. What works for you? I guess that's a safer way to do it, right? With a resistor? Well, how do you discharge a capacitor? By just connecting the two. How do you what? By connecting the two together. Yes. That's one way of discharging it. Some people will disagree with that, but I happen to agree with that method. So do that.
Use the needle nose. Power off? Yes. Okay. Okay, have at it, Daniel son. All right. What do you want to do next? Okay. See. Still see if it still works. Okay. No, it didn't. Sounds pretty normal to me, though, for the system. Yeah. It's the compressor, but you know, it's sometimes yes, sometimes no. Should it be that loud? Obviously, it's not. It's it's grown louder since uh, our office is right there, and it's been recently been a complaint. So it's an issue for the for the customer. The system is still functional, right? But it is an issue for the homeowner, and she's worried about it, and it didn't make that noise before. So let's check pressures and see what we're working with. All right, I'll take the, uh, you got the smart probes there and we're gonna use for the first time, you guys are gonna love this. We're gonna use for the first time, measure quick. There it is, measure quick. This is technically the first time I'm ever using this and that applies for Daniel as well, all right? You learn something new every day. So my, just so you know, just so you know, the smaller number, that's 797. What's, what's the other number? Seven, this is the low side, this is the high side. And the same applies for our clamp on uh, wireless temperature probes. The smaller one is liquid, is a uh, suction. And we'll see what we're doing with Measure Quick. And again, first time using it. First time using it. Now I know it's not a TXV. We're using a capillary tube, fixed metering device. Oh, it did. Look at that. Hold on. We have to go to toolbox. Let's see. That's 775. Yes. Huh. So we're going to change that to evaporator. 775. 797 becomes condenser pressure. Good, back, home. All right. It's freezing up already, as you can see. Yeah. A good solid connection. Yeah, that's not a good solid connection. Okay, better. Now, where does it tell us the other information that we need to see? Are they on? Yeah, they're on. Where is the, my other information? We push the little sun icon, and this is what we have. Now I know it's not a TXV. So, where should our superheat be?
question. How how bothersome are you with the noise? That knocking? Yes. Okay. I just want to make sure that it's not... Well, it's not normal, but it's, like you know, not going to die, like, immediately, but, you know, it's, you are going to, you know, replace that sooner rather than later. Yeah. I don't know when. If I, if I knew when, <laughs> I would play lottery. <laughs> um, we're going to check... We check. We're gonna. We checked a few things on the system. One of the parts that control the fan motor is weak, so I'll change that. The uh, we're gonna check the system pressures. It's a little. We'll see what that's like as well. But you know, I, I think we talked about this a few months ago. Eventually, you're gonna replace you know the system, but that's all on when you want to do that. But. Yeah. So it's freezing up because it's just. Uh, it, it's slightly low again, and I, we, we're gonna double check that with the pressure. Unknown caller. Yes. Um, so my daughter says you're, you also do plumbing. Yes. Is it you that does the plumbing or I, you have somebody else? I have somebody else, but I do plumbing too. Okay, so I, I have a plumber and he's a very good friend of ours. I've been for years, I mean, but I need a second opinion. Like, you know, you need a doctor. Yes. Sometimes second opinion. So, uh, so up here I have my bathtub, my okay. jacuzzi bathtub. Now, I have... I had plastic here just in case it would leak, but I have a situation with my faucet. Okay. Where it doesn't turn on, but I'm afraid to turn it on because the water is going to come. Water is going to come out. It doesn't. It, like you turn it and nothing comes on, so I have to use the hand. I have to use the handheld one. Uh. To do the water. Let's take a look at the tub upstairs. No, I'm going. What you going? I'm seeing this. Sunken tub. Oh, not fun. Definitely not fun. I don't want to open this thing up. Let's take a look. This is for the handheld. This is a Delta. It's loose. Hmm. That's off. Unknown caller. Let's see. Let's see. The water goes there. Hot water is disabled, looks like. This is why I prefer air conditioning. All right, added refrigerant. Made him aware again of leaks. Making this wife, she was hot, now she's gonna be cold. And schedule them up for a new system. Getting it done one by one. All right, stay tuned. Some more great and amazing content coming up. So it only took her three service calls before I convinced her enough to replace that system. Because when the first time I was there, she was low on refrigerant and we found like leaking the evaporated oil. All right, and then I posted the video online and people were like, well, how come, you know, Mikey Pipes, how come you didn't braze it? And it was a leak on the evaporator claw. I was like, well, listen, you braze one, you're gonna have more leaks, right? Yeah. It's just inevitable, right? So in the interim, instead of just, you know, brazing it and having the potential of another leak, we, I filled her up. You know, like maybe five, six, seven pounds, whatever I needed, right? And that, la and that lasted until I came back with the new evaporator coil. And now, obviously, there's another leak, and, you know, she's like, you know, don't even bother with leak tests, just replace the whole system. It is what it is. She needs a new system. Do you know what she's going to put in? She's going to get a carrier, right? Because she's going to do it after the season. Because now it's already August 2nd, and she'll be good for the rest of the season, hopefully. Yeah. Hopefully. And then she'll get, we'll give her a carrier, right? You know, people have been asking about your watch, by the way. Yeah. Let's see that watch. 
Oh, look at that. So this is a smartwatch. It is. It looks like an eye an eye watch, but it's it's round. Yeah, it's a Galaxy watch. Oh. Do you have a Galaxy phone? I do. Yeah. You like you like Android? Yeah, it's way better. So which model is this? The Active Two. The Samsung Active Two, and that's a special case. It's not a Samsung case, is it? Yeah, it's sub case. Interesting, interesting. It's like a G-Shock. Because it looks like, it looked like a Casio G-Shock for a little bit. Yeah. But it's a smartwatch. Yeah. I think people want that watch. Maybe there'll be a link down in the description box. Oh, look at that. Let me see that for a second. Look at that thing. Comes with nice bands, nice silicone bands. That is pretty cool. It's got a lot of data on there, too. Yeah. Sorry, I'm driving. I'm trying to show you what the screen looks like. That's the particular face. That's pretty cool. What do you mean that particular face you paid for? This watch face. Yeah. I paid for it because I like having all that information there. Oh, it's like a template. Yeah. Oh, so you downloaded the template. You bought the template. Yeah. Interesting. So, so what kind of information you got on there? My steps, uh, the power of the watch, Okay. how much battery it has, the date, the day of the week, the time, uh, the weather, the, wow. amount, the amount of flights of stairs I've climbed. How many flights of stairs have you climbed today? <laughs> uh, the amount of calories I burn, my heart rate, uh, the distance that I've walked. What was the distance so far? 0.7 miles. No. Wait a minute, you walked 0.7 miles right here today? Yeah, that makes sense. It does? To me, yeah. I mean, that's including going up and down stairs, going to my car, going uh, in to get breakfast, going copy. to the office. Walking back and forth in front of the office. <laughs> All right. Well, how many how many uh, how many miles a day do you walk? It depends on the day, but uh, I'm more about like how many steps I take. Usually, it's around twelve thousand. Okay. The goal is six thousand. That's like what they say is the healthy. You should walk six thousand steps a day to be healthy. Yeah. All right. Well, speaking of being healthy, you know what I started doing this weekend? What haven't I done so yet? Let's see how observant you are. What haven't I done? What haven't I done already today? Or did? What haven't you done today? Yeah. Smoke a cigarette. Yes, correct. Recording? We'll see. You should vape. I should vape? No. You know, no, 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 no. So Friday night was my last cigarette. I did not have anything on Saturday. I did not have any on Sunday. But this morning, I did have a cigar. And a cigar in the shop. That's different. Yeah. You're not really inhaling it. You were you're yes you are, but no you're not. Yeah. But it's not like a cigarette. So we'll see how long this lasts. So if I become a miserable prick, you know why. We'll see. All right? Yeah. And if I don't drink, I mean sorry, and if I don't smoke, that means I'm not really drinking that much either. It goes hand in hand. It's nice, you, you know. Drink. Yeah, you have a drink, you have, you have a smoking. You can, but I can drink and have a cigar. Mmm. Mmm. What do you drink? Well, it depends. Don Julio, 1942 tequila. You know, Stoli Elite, Beluga Gold, Grey Goose, if you know, at the bottom of the barrel. Depends. But so it's all liquor? I love liquor. Liquor's good for you. It's good for the soul. It's good for your soul, you know? It's really good. It puts you in another the mindset. You don't drink like beer. I don't. Depends. I like it for beer. I like Amstel or Fat Tire oh, or Fat Tire. Sapporo. I haven't had that. Sapporo is Japanese beer. When I was in Japan, I had it there, and that's where I discovered Sapporo. It comes in a black can. It's amazing. I love it. Not every place sells it, but Sapporo, very good stuff. What do you guys like to drink? Let me get your thoughts and feedback down in the comment section down below. St. Mike Kamazi to let me know. I want to know. And maybe, just maybe, we'll have a giveaway and you'll get, you'll win your favorite bottle. Can you do that? It's like, why can't I? I don't know. Why not? Okay. Can I have a giveaway and give away a bottle of vodka? Give a, a bottle of alcohol? alcohol? Giving alcohol away on YouTube? Why not? Well, you have no proof of their age or... I could guess the proof of age. Liquor license. I'm not selling it. I'm giving it away. It's like a friend came over and gave me a bottle of, of like Grey Goose or like Don Julio. You know, I gave a bottle of vodka to Godzilla and Godzilla gave me a couple bottles of, for himself, you know, from him to me as well. 
Kelvin. Kelvin got a bottle of vodka. Why are they all getting bottles of vodka? They like the drink, I guess. I don't know. Why not? Share, sharing is caring. Sharing is caring. All right, ladies and gentlemen. I'm done r ranting and raving, yapping my mouth. I know some of you hate that, that I talk too much. It's all good. You think I talk too much? Well, keep commenting that I talk too much because it helps increase the reach. Every time you comment, it ranks that up even higher. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you thumbs up, subscribe, and God bless. Stay well and be safe. Mikey Pipe signing off with Daniel's son.